gonna be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Great! After such a long time, we finally get the chance to take on this gym, the Stryan City Gym, and um, this gym's kind of interesting. And um, plus, this guy, you remember how he used to follow, follow you in every single game? He now has a name now. It's Clyde, and he gives you fresh water in every single gym. But now the gym puzzle. Um, you have to hit the button that's strong against the type in the curtain. For example there, the water type is strong against fire. That's why I chose the water type button. And, um, there's two trainers in this gym. You cannot escape them. That's why I went all the way to the extreme so that I can prove to you that you can escape the tr uh, trainers. And why would you escape them? You might as well battle them since this is a pretty tough gym. So, the way the gym works is you're, um, there's three gyms, three gym leaders. One has a pants H and a lily pup. The other one has a pamper and a lily pup. And the other one has a pants E and a lily pup. And the w which one you're gonna fight is gonna depend on what starter you picked. If you pick, um, uh, Tepic like me, you're gonna be fighting Crest with a Pampor and a Lollipop. If you picked um, Snivy, you're gonna be fighting Chili with a Pan Seer and a Lollipop. And if you picked Oshawa, you're gonna be fighting Silent with a Pan Sage and a Lollipop. So, yeah, um, that's why that monkey that you got in the Dream Yard will really help you out because um, that monkey can easily take out the monkey that your starters weak against. But I'm, I'm not gonna use uh, that monkey, and I don't like giving experience points to the Pokemon that I'm not going to use in my team. So instead of taking it easy using that monkey, I'm just going to use my Pokemon that I have, which are my Lollipop and my Tep. Which should easily take off out the gym, the gym leaders. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a hard time. I shouldn't, but um, I could possibly have a hard time, especially since um, the here the, the gym leader has a Pokemon up to level 14. That is very strong. That is quite <laughs> strong. I might actually um, have to heal up before I have to uh, take on the gym. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna heal up. My tep itself has 14 health points now. So this Perloween is it's getting pretty annoying. It scratches and it assists and it's sand attacks. So I don't know if I should. Yeah, I'm probably gonna heal up. I, I didn't know if I should have held, healed up or um or if I should have just switched to my lily cup, but I decided to heal up. So. Um, like right here, I'm just speeding this up. Remember, all non important trainer battles are going to be sped up. So, easy Perloin to kill. Got pretty annoying though. A lot of experience Perloins give out, yeah. So, definitely battle the trainers here. So, the next up, uh, and fi the final puzzle would of course be grass. And, no, you pick uh, fire because the current is grass. In the puzzle before this one, you have to pick grass because the current was a water type. So as you see right there, silent. Oh goodness, it's chilly and silent. Oh goodness, it's pressed, silent and chilly. So yeah, apparently there's only one, but then you find out that all of them are hiding behind silent's back. And now they're gonna decide who you're gonna uh, fight against, and you're gonna go fight against whoever you're starting to pick, and it's gonna work how I said before. So make sure you heal up before you take these guys on, because um, they're actually pretty tough. So yeah, after you heal up, come back inside. The gym puzzle will not go back to normality, so um, once you solve it, uh, you know, it'll be solved. Make sure you save. I saved it right there. And then I took on the gym. And there it is. Crest against Megaland 2. Who's going to win? I think Megaland 2. And I'm positive I'm going to win. So yeah, it's going to be an easy battle. Okay, and um, he's going to always start with a, a leap up. And nothing will change. That wouldn't change if, uh, if you fight Chili or Silent. They're both. They're all three of them are gonna start with a leap up, and it's gonna be level 12. It's gonna have the pickup ability with moves to tackle, ear, wake up, and bite. So that's gonna be pretty easy to take on. Um, don't let it set up a whole bunch of workups because workups um, race both attack and um, special attack. You don't have to worry about the special attack part with a leap up, but its attack is really gonna make it hard to take out because um, a leap up is really quite high attack. So, apparently my Amber burned it, and that's going to be very useful, because I'm positive that Zion's going to be using a potion right here. Yeah, I expected that. Okay. Oh, silent Crest. I'm such a dumb person. Did I really say Silent? I meant Crest. It's because this is the first time I actually choose Tebig. I always chose Oshawott. So that's why I keep thinking Silent. Um, so apparently I can move up there one bite, because I flinched. Um, thank God that, um... 
burn keeps uh, subtracting health points from this lily pup. And it should be over for lily pup as of right now with this last ender. And I should grow to level 13. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, here's where it changes. And, um, I'm not gonna cover up the other, um, Pokemon that the other gem leaders have. I'm just gonna cover the Pokemon that, uh, my gem leader has. Because it'd be too much talking. And I don't wanna really talk that much. So, apparently, Tepig is now level 13. And it's trying to learn Defense Core. Which is okay, but I'm not really that getting, um, in game. It's very, very good with, uh, Graveler and, um, Shuckle and, do you know, out, out of game, competitive battle. So my strategy is to send out my Lily Pup, which is not going to be affected by Pampor. And here are Pampor's things. Pampor's level 14, a uh, gluttony ability, and has water, gun, lick, workup, and fury swipes. If you let it set up a whole bunch of workups, you cannot win this battle. If he sets, set up one more, I'm definitely going to be losing this. I hope my Lily Pup can um, take it out. Yeah, well, let's use Leer, because um, if I use one Leer, all my uh, bite, uh, tackles are going to be doing a whole bunch of damage. Oh goodness. Okay. Um, he can probably knock me out in two hits now. That's gonna be very dangerous. I have to knock it out now very quickly before I die. Oh my god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Thankfully, I think my Lily Pup has an orange berry on it. Yeah. Alright, so that's really gonna help me out. So, I should be able to take it out now. So, that's basically the strategy behind Pampor. You definitely don't want to use your starter against the monkey because you're gonna get absolutely destroyed. There's no way that I think you could win using your starter against the monkey. So yay, we finally get our first gym badge. We can finally get out of Strident City and move on to the next route. So Cress is sad that he was defeated and um, as always you're gonna get your badge. And the badge animation here is amazing. Check this out. Goodness. I love it. And all the badges here are, you know, uh, are like kind of like ver vertical. Remember how they used to be like kind of squarish, roundish, now they're all vertical and from up to bottom, up to bottom. And after you beat any gym leader, Silent's going to be like, alright, I'm, uh, I'm impressed with your skills and he's going to give you the TM83 workup, which is a good TM that um, you cannot teach to your starter. And the good thing about TMs now is that they never fade away or they never break. You can keep continuously using them. So I'm going to be teaching that to my lily pup because that's going to really help me out in the next couple of gyms. <coughs> So yeah, um, work up, good move. It's like growth and how together. It um, raises your attack and your special attack, so that's pretty good. Definitely a move that you should teach to any of the Pokemon that are available to it as of right now. And once you head out, um, you're not going to be able to heal up as of right now because somebody's going to take you to their house. And uh, it's this girl right here. Remember that top room that we, we couldn't enter? once we were exploring the city yeah this girl lives up there and she's gonna give you something that is very very helpful and that you really want and if you're not gonna use your monkey you might wanna teach this thing that she's gonna give you to your monkey you might wanna give this to your monkey cause um your monkeys aren't really that helpful but uh they're very good HM slaves so yeah she's gonna give you cut which any monkeys can learn and so can Patra and Perloin and your starter any starter only Pokemon as of right now that cannot learn that move is um Lollipop. So yeah, teach it to whatever you can. And I'm gonna teach it right now to my monkey, my pan sage. Um now cut is actually worse than tackle, so because remember tackle has uh hundred of accuracy and fifty attack points. So I'm just gonna erase it for um Lear, I think. Yeah, Lear. Okay. So once you're done with that Make sure that you teach it to somebody, head out of here, and um, get out of this house because we're going to go explore around the rest of this place.